Hello friends, some of the viewers had query whenever they are placing the cephalomedullary nails like PFNA2 or TFNA, they face this problem that after insertion of the nail, the screw or the guide wire tends to go either posteriorly or towards the anterior side. That means the entry of the guide wire is located more posterior or anterior. Now at this position, if they try to rotate the nail or the zig that actually causes the malreduction and the fracture reduction is lost. If we see this position, the zig is slightly off. It is in posterior direction. And if we try to maneuver or rotate the zig, what will happen? Ultimately, the screw will go more anteriorly and we want a more central or slightly posterior position. But here the wire is quite close to the posterior cortex and insertion of the screw or blade can actually can actually fracture the posterior cortex and may result in delayed union, non-union and sometimes the implant failure as well. And when we try to bargain with this position, we ultimately end up with something like this. That means the screw is slightly posterior, that is good, but the track it is following is quite close to the posterior cortex and we don't know, it might actually be breached also. So this is something we desire. That means we want our screw to be going centrally and going towards the center or slight posterior and we want the aiming arm of the zig to be perfectly central over the neck. So whenever you are facing this problem, that means the zig is slightly posterior. You have to see which direction it is going. So if it is going in posterior direction, what you need to do? You have to simply extend the limb. If you extend the limb, ultimately what will happen? The nail along with the zig along with the diaphysis will move slightly anteriorly and when this happens ultimately your zig will move in the anterior direction like this. You see only thing that we have changed is the flexion extension of the limb. Earlier the position was like this. Now after doing extension the position has changed to this. That means we are now a bit more central compared to the previous position. You can further titrate the position of the zig as per your requirement. That means if you want zig to be more anterior, then you can simply further extend the limb. This is something which happens if we accept the previous position. The screw tends to go in the center, but the track which is which it is following is quite dangerous. It may actually fracture the posterior cortex. This is not the thing that we want. Now here a similar example. The zig was earlier going slightly posterior and what we did, we simply extended the limb and with extension you see what happened the shaft actually rotated posteriorly and automatically the zig moved slightly anterior in the proximal part and it is more central compared to the previous position so what is the mechanism so earlier i've shown you in the previous videos that by moving the diaphysis before putting the screw you can actually titrate the position of the screw in the coronal plane also like if we abduct the limb the nail position will be like this and the screw will go more inferiorly same way in the sagittal plane if we try to move the shaft in extension or flexion the proximal part of the nail is going to move so this is something we want if this is the cross section of the trochanteric area we want the whole of the cephalomedullary screw perfectly central but if the position is like this, that means the shaft is slightly flexed. Automatically, the hole will come on the posterior side of the trochanteric area and your screw will be quite close to the posterior cortex. And if we do the extension maneuver like this, automatically the screw hole will come in a more central position. If the situation is opposite, that means the hole is coming more anterior. That means the shaft of the femur is in extension. And if we try to flex it automatically, the hole will come more central. So I hope this simple tip will help you in careful planning and execution of nailing in trochanteric fractures. If you have any queries, you can just put those in comments. Thank you.